Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is the first video in the series on how to install Windows 8.1 and the installation I am actually making is with a DVD of the ISO file from uh, the uh, download ISO file from Microsoft website. It is in my sense the best way to install Windows 8 so go get yourself that ISO file just Google Windows 8.1 preview download go down the page click the ISO file in your preferred language and operating system 32 or 64 bits download it make yourself a DVD with it and use preferably I would say use an older computer where you'll try it out uh, or at least if you have just one computer make yourself a, a second partition where you'll be able to simply um, install in a dual boot environment so you'll keep your original windows but have the possibility of um, trying out Windows 8.1 so you put your DVD in the drive, you make sure you boot from your drive, you'll see, press any key to boot, you just press any key. And this is probably what you should see first, that little fish there. In the 64-bit uh, version, I noticed that the little fish is uh, takes a little more time to uh, show up. In this 32-bit version, you have that little fishy here. I'm installing Windows 8.1 Preview 32 bits. Um, why? Because I tried the 64 in English and on all three computers that I have at home I was unable to install Windows uh, 8.1 64 bits. It just didn't want to work. So I um, downloaded the 32-bit version and uh, made myself a DVD and this is what is booting right now and you'll see here step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Windows 8.1. So use an old computer because I don't want um, the last thing you want to do is replace your Windows 8 computer with a uh, preview version. It's not a good idea. A preview version is really a beta version, so it's incomplete. It probably has a few bugs uh, and is probably missing out on some of the features so um, I wouldn't I wouldn't replace my Windows 8 machine with that um, instead I'm using a uh, dual core tower that I have here uh, I also could have used my old Toshiba computer which is also a dual core and uh, what I did is I um, partitioned my hard drive into two parts the main part has a Windows 7 install and in the um, second partition I will be installing uh, Windows 8.1 so that we can dual boot the computer. When you see that little fishy uh, just you know be patient um, the loading process takes a little bit of time um, I've noticed that it's longer in Windows uh, 8 to 64 bits and um, so just you know be patient and you'll see that uh, little these little dots turning around in the bottom and then you'll get into the uh, main page of the install so if everything goes well you'll be sent to this little page here it says Windows 8 now I have the English version uh, I'll change my keyboard for my preferred keyboard so that it matches my keyboard and um, kind of the French, Canadian French. And here we go. So once this is, is is okay, you just click the next button and click install now. Hopefully everything goes well and you'll be uh, going here. Like I said, I had a lot of problems with the 64-bit version. That didn't want to install on this computer it would crash about here on the other computer uh, my other Toshiba computer it um, would just freeze 
and on my Windows 8 machine that I partitioned it just couldn't continue the install so it was kinda complicated so you'll get to the page here where you have to enter your product key the product key is available on the web page where you downloaded the ISO file on the Microsoft page so um, if you want to get the key well when you went to the page to get the ISO file uh, just before you were there it uh, they gave you a key and um, basically the key is N T T X 3 R V 7 V B T seven X seven F W Q Y Y Y and nine Y nine two F and so if you enter it correctly you uh, just click next if you have of course a touch device and that you're trying to install uh, on the touch device via USB bootable key uh, click that little keyboard uh, just to touch the keyboard on the right side of the key window and you'll have that touch interface to enter the key and uh, then you do next simply go next And like I said, the key is available on the Microsoft uh, website. It's the same key for everyone, so um, if you didn't go on the website, just enter the same key that I just told you. It's going to work. Uh, you accept the terms, of course. Press uh, Next. And now you have two ways. You can upgrade and install. I will choose, because I want to do a boot, uh, a, really a dual boot, custom install and there you'll see the partitions now I have one partition with Windows 7 and I took a 25 gig part of my partition and um, this is where I'm going to install so you make sure you install on the good partition because if you don't you'll be erasing your original Windows if you're in a dual boot environment I don't think you want to erase the original Windows that was there of course if your computer is um, you don't mind and you don't care erasing everything then you just choose the partition that's available so here I'm installing into the second partition that I made just for that and I just go press next and this is the install that's starting up uh, all you have to do is uh, let it work and uh, see what's going to happen and depending on the machine you have uh, it can take anywhere from 20-30 uh, minutes to uh, an hour, an hour and a half to uh, actually install Windows 8.1 preview So just be patient um, if you're not sure if you have this little blinking light showing the hard drive uh, on your computer uh, you can look at that and see that it's actually working uh, on my tower I see that little blue light that's telling me the uh, hard drive activity is actually lighting up I see the CD the DVD drive also blinking and uh, you know that it's doing something with the little progression there that you see the uh, getting files ready to install with the percentage there just being uh, going up and up and up so like I said depending on the machine you're using it can take anywhere from um, half an hour to um, I've seen people say that it took about half an hour um, on real real new machines like uh, core i5s or i7 machines um, if you have a dual core it might take a little longer so uh, be patient and just leave the Windows install do whatever it's doing 
at this point you're um, you don't have any control over the installation uh, you know I hear people say sometimes well I think you, you um, didn't install Windows well uh, well you can't install it bad because it's just so automatic the process is uh, on its own basically when it's installing Windows So uh, we'll leave that going into the progression and uh, see you on the uh, part 3 of the install where we will be continuing and showing you how to uh, actually answer all the different questions you might encounter while it's installing. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button and uh, if you have any comments, questions on Windows 8 or 8.1 or whatever, or you're trying to install and there's a problem, let us know. And hope you uh, continue watching our videos on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.